hi welcome once again so in this video what you will see is how you can control the position of a mess and uh, okay so it is like this we are talking about uh, material and we are talking about the position of the mess now let us understand this uh, mesh is actually lifted so this is like physically controlling the mesh but trust me in this uh, mesh we have not done anything it is just that we have done some changes in the parameter of the material and because of which the position of the mesh can be controlled. Please like this video if you find it helpful and informative. And yes, subscribe to our channel for more updates. Okay, so very simple. Uh, let's start. Right click and we get the material. Again, I think right click and we get the material. So what we will talk about is uh, world offset. world position offset okay now what we require is a three vector which will control the base color just press three and uh, right click so what you get is a three vector and uh, you can add some texture also so whether you add texture or whether you add uh, color hardly makes a difference the next thing again we need is a world position offset and we will control that with three vector uh, let me give a base color, maybe some sort of pink will do. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Just leave it. Let us not do anything. Whatever it is, it's like 0, 0, 0, all three RGB. Great. Now save it so that we can get uh, the color on the material. Just rearranging this. Uh, let me close. This is the earlier version. Okay. Here is the blank. So let me put this color on here. So it will get the pink color. Great. Uh, okay. Again, advise to create an material instance instead of changing the color. So convert all these into parameters so that, uh, you know, you can control the material instance in a better manner. So this is world position of set number. Okay. Save it go back create the material instance where is this yeah fine okay now close this parent one and rearrange the window uh, just uh, arranging the window right click both of them uh, i need to okay here it is visible and save this side great now you see the base color is uh, is taking that pink color whatever we have so we don't we do not required to do anything but what is important is this check here rgb all these are zero 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 now what happens is you this rgb actually represents all those three directions so let me do some changes out here let me make it 100. Uh, what is happening? There is no change. Okay. I forgot to apply the instance here. And you can see there is a change in the position of the material. So the material is actually lifted towards uh, the, you know, not, uh, not lifted. It actually goes towards the red direction. I do some changes. It is on towards the green direction. I will do some on the blue direction. So all these 100, 100, 100 will be something like, you know, Unreal Engine units. The movement will be uh, exactly whatever the figure you apply here and the change will be as per that 100 or whatever uh, Unreal Engine units. So let me get it back to zero and you will see the material, uh, you, you will see the instance exactly in the original position. So here you are. You can apply on our uh, mesh, which we normally do as a uh, tutorial. Fine. So you make it 1000 and you see where it goes or you make it 150. You can see there is a change in the position. Fine. That's simple. And uh, that's it for this video.
सी यू इन द कमिंग वीडियो